Hi, I'm Jen from Fire Spiral Slings and I'm going to talk to you about getting the front wrap cross carry nice and comfortable. So, you've been through the instructions and you've seen to get your middle marker, centre it in your chest, bring that cloth behind you, cross it over and bring the two ends round over your shoulders. The first thing to note is you need to have those crosses nice and spread wide across your back. So you shouldn't be able to see much of my top. The cloth isn't bunched up into two ropes and that's because we want the weight of your baby to be taken by this pass here, pushed in towards you and carried through the whole of those crosses or through your torso or through your back. Okay, we're not actually carrying the weight of your baby on your shoulders here. It should be pushed through here and spread across your back. Okay, so the next point is to get either keep it pulled out like this if you've got a small baby or for a larger baby, I prefer to bunch up the pass into a rope, but get it tight. If it's slack like this, then you're going to have to tighten that whilst holding your baby. So get it tight how you want it. There should be just enough room to feed your baby's legs through, but you don't need much more than that to start with. So I'm going to go and get my doll. Here we are. Then choose a side, whichever side you're holding them on, you're going to guide them in the opposite way, sort of in a diagonal way. Okay, hand underneath to guide their legs through and pull them down and you're going to get them to sit here on this rope if they're if they're big enough okay and then i'm going to pull this all the way up there we go i'm going to leave the rest of this bunched up here tucked slightly under so that it's creating a bit of a, a seat for this baby here we go this piece is nice and tight next point is I'm going to generally tighten. If you pull forwards, it won't tighten at all. Like a car seat belt, you need to pull up and out, give it plenty of room there, so that your baby's in the right height. And this cloth is nice and tight. Here, my baby isn't going anywhere. These are holding underneath. It's this pass here that's holding the baby in. Here we go. So I've got that how I want it. Okay, so my next move is to make sure that this isn't digging into my neck. So I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to gather it in and sit it so that it's at the right point for me. And again. Now, before I do anything else, I have a little tiny bit of slack here that provided it's not going to dig into my baby's neck, I might want to get rid of. It's hard to tell with a doll. And so we can chase this round, find the corresponding rail and pull it through. But again, at this point, you don't want to start over tightening. You should have got this tight enough to hold your baby. If your baby's sagging and you're pulling down and tightening and tightening, what you're doing is taking the weight of your baby onto your shoulders and then holding it up with this pass and that is going to start to hurt. Um, similarly, if you've left any slack caught up in places, it will all work together and it will slowly lower your baby down and you'll find that you're not in this comfortable position. Okay? So get that nice and comfortable. Get the passes, right, get them away from your neck. There we are. And then cross them under. There we go. Actually, they're mapped to tie behind my back. There we are, and then Not the carry, 
do your checks that your baby's in line that they've got a nice natural curve to their back that their knees uh up in the right position again it's hard with a doll whose legs don't bend quite the right way close enough to kiss they've got plenty of room there the cloth's up at the right height there we go comfortable front wrap cross carry the other thing that you can do with this carry is these passes can be spread out if you need to offer extra support if your baby goes to sleep and you want to angle them slightly or change the, the pass so that it supports the head slightly you can do they're also useful if you're going to nurse in this carry and you're going to loosen it drop it down slightly um, you can use this for comfort as long as you're not um, obstructing the baby's airways you can use it for for more coverage or you can use it for extra support <laughs>